All right, it's your girl Alicia J. It's this week's and treats, and I'm here today. I got something special going on. I took y'all to Africa. Now we finna go to Jamaica today, baby. And I'm doing it with somebody so special and near and dear to me. Y'all know I'm a southerner and I love southern music. So I have somebody checking in with me today. Y'all just be cool and y'all see. He gonna be through here in a second. Pressure. What to do, what to do, what to do. I ain't ring the doorbell. I, I oh, knew said, walk yeah, on yeah, in. Yeah, I did you a found, thing. You could have came out. Pew, 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 pew. I'm happy you did. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy <laughs> you, you did. What's going on with your mama? Oh, it's all love. Happy to have you. Happy to have you. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm trying to take you to Jamaica today, baby. Take me to Jamaica. Let's go. Let's go. So. What you doing today? I Jazz? am doing some chicken curry. Okay. I'm doing wow. some ja Jamaican chicken curry. Okay. And we're going to just jump right in it. You know, but I want to let the folks know about International Jones, hey. you know, Sleepy Jones, hey. you know, talking like I hey. bring it. Everything about you is dope. You Appreciate know what I'm you, saying? Um, oh, I got so many questions. I got I'm so many questions. You was, you was all over the place with all my favorite music groups. I'm going to just throw some stuff at you. Um, oh, oh. Three Six Mafia. Okay. Like okay. a dog. Yeah. Like a dog. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Juicy J mm -hmm. and DJ Paul. What is it like working with them? Yeah, what is work like with Juicy J and DJ Paul? First of all, it's absolutely awesome. And it's like being on a comedy show that you don't get the heads up you're on a comedy show. <laughs> Joseph. I mean, for real, because they just buku comedic at the same time. They like super, super intelligent yeah. when it comes down to this music. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like they producers also, businessmen also. Mm -hmm. So it's like it's super trippy to go from pulling a big body like this, you know what I'm saying? And then you get in the studio, then everything is intricate and it's specific. And this yeah, keyboard is they for this. About they crap. Don't touch that keyboard. Yeah. Don't touch this. Look, Paul believe in if they got a bag of empty chips on the ground, on the, in the room, don't touch it. Don't mess with, don't, it, don't it, touch it, the vibe. Leave it alone. Leave everything alone. They yeah. got a half a can of beer sitting there, don't mess with I nothing. get that though. Yeah, you know I get saying? that though yeah. because we're cooking. For me, I be in a zone. And for me, it's old school music. Right. I like to listen at the oldies for good. Right. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. And what we finna do right now is we just finna uh, saute our vegetables. Really, we gonna take it all the way in. Those are friends. That's crazy. I've four years, I don't know how I survived all that other than just fast food. So I got you seated because I, I wanted you to be able to sit down and explain everything. Like, um, you, we talked about the Memphis rubs and stuff like that. So we're going to go back to the city, Juvenile. For sure. I'm going to say Juvenile. Yeah. When, I, when you hear Juvenile, what you think of? When I hear the word Juvenile, I think a bounce for the juvenile when he first came out on the B side of DJ Jimmy's Where the Ass Single. You know, and, I, and it always trips me out that he don't sound the same. The same, huh? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not a bad thing, but it just let me know, like, how. Elevation. Yeah, 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 yeah. But Jew is the ish, man. Like, Jew is bond.com. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm proud of him, of all his accomplishments. And because this is not an easy business to be in. Not at all. And it's not an easy business to make a living in. And he's been relevant his whole career. Like, you know, he everybody had a little hiatus, but he's always relevant. Yeah. Because I can't name a time wherever I'm at. If they say they have a Juvie concert, right. I'm there. It's pop success. He got a different oh, type of yes, pop indeed. success. And I think once you cross over those thresholds like him, mystical, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Master P, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think um, you almost will be forever a household name. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? On, for on, for, on, for on, life. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. For, for life. Also, yeah. So, um, yeah, like, I, man, Juvie, 
is one of these things I think about uh, surviving errors, and I think he's he's done it uh, strategically, and I think he's done it well. You know what I mean? Yes, indeed. So right here, I have some parboiled rice. As you can see, I just mm -hmm. added my fresh um, bell peppers and onion and a little green onion. Smells I good. like to use everything fresh. Of course. I'm, I like fresh everything, and I wash everything, and I season everything. I don't care what it is. Except ground beef, of course, but, right, 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 right. you know. Um, so with this part of rice, you don't want to wet it up too much. That's why I didn't rinse this okay. off. But um, this rice does not stick okay. at all. So that's the good part about it. Okay, and what's the, what's the name of that rice? This part of this part uh -oh, par oh, okay. par rice. It's okay. like a brown rice, but okay. I'm going to add a little bit more because I feel like I like a lot of rice with my uh, chicken curry. Okay. Believe Another me. thing I'm going to say, I'm glad you said something about bounce music because when you hear bounce music, what's the first thing you think of? The first thing I think about bounce is that bounce music was invented four houses away from where I grew up. Now that's legendary right there. I grew up four houses where bounce was invented. And I know the people that uh, were responsible. Originated yeah, it. Yeah, the people that was responsible for creating it in the raw essence of in the streets and the club and the people that that took it, the first people to take it nationwide on a more of a, uh, uh, what's the term? Uh, it'll come to me. But made it on a more of a national level. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, shout out to DJ Precise. Shout out to T.T. Tucker, DJ Irv. Shout out to Ghost Town Tips. I was going to say T.T. Tucker. Yeah. Yeah, Whenever I think of Bounce, fellow. I think of T.T. Tucker. Right. I'm going to keep it real right. with you. Well, yeah, he was the one, him and Irv was running that drag rap back to back show boys. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, believe it or not, it had everything in it. It had ignorance. It had political statements. It had, you know what I'm saying, rejoicing of, with your chest out like I'm tired of this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. F. David Duke, F. David Duke. I see, I see, I see, I see. You know what I mean? Yay. You heard me? Where they at? You know, F. Five O. You know what I mean? At that time, you heard me like, you know, being oppressed by something and you not know how to strategically communicate. How to you express, know, to yourself. express yourself. Yeah. These were the ways of expressing yourself as a youth, you know what I'm saying, in the neighborhoods. You feel me? And to watch that go down, that's what I think about Boss Music. And I see it clear as day from that to uh, Pimp Daddy, Everlasting Hitman, to so forth. You know what Even I mean? with you, though, you like a poet. You know, I feel like your certain stuff, If not the most popular songs, though. Oh, for sure. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I yeah. feel like the underground stuff for people that they may not listen to, it's poetry in it because you're telling your story and you're speaking mm -hmm. your mind. Like, I appreciate that. So, and this is safflower. Safflower. Yes, and this is what makes our rice yellow. We don't sure. want to buy any yellow rice out the store. You go to the international market and it's right there for you. Okay. That's so, good to know because we make a lot of yellow rice. Yes, and it, it, it's going to bring a good flavor. And I like to add, I have my... Uh, Garlic and onion powder. I'm gonna mm -hmm. turn this down mm -hmm. just a little bit. Um, I like to add that in there just because sure. the flavoring, and you can add seasoning, but I don't like to be too heavy with the seasoning because the sapphire brings a nice flavor I got you. itself. But we definitely got to add that onion and garlic powder. Mandatory. That that just come with it. And as you can see, I don't measure anything. I let the Lord tell me when to I stop. All the two. You know what I'm saying? But with rice, I'm old school. I know if my finger go right there on that line, I right, right, right. yeah, it's, it's gonna cook right. Right, right. But yeah. like I said, with the um. With this uh, rice, it's not going to stick anyway, so we're going to strain it. The measuring cup is the passion. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So you can't go wrong. And um, I started out um, doing poetry before I started rapping. Just That's more than crazy. writing class. And, um, you know, once you learn what the people want from you, you learn either as a young business person to put your feelings aside and learn the art of songwriting and applying it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, you can compromise somewhere in there. And um, you know, everybody's different. Some people don't want to. Excuse me. Some people don't want to compromise whatsoever. Yeah, and that's not gonna get you too yeah. far. You can't be like that. No, nah, I mean, um, you know, <laughs> you don't want to get on stage unless uh, there's 30 dancers. You know, they got oh, 29. No, you know? no. <laughs> I want 30 dancers. <laughs> Another saying? thing, for, huh? I didn't mean to cut you off. I wanted to add this. Mm -hmm. This is um, like bouillon 
chicken but it's powder. flavor. Yeah, it's in yeah. a powder form. Right. And I just want to add that because we are cooking chicken and I just want all my flavors to... I'm a flavor type of girl. For sure. So, you, you need know... need mesh. Yes. Right. And, and I'm like... You know, I like to season everything. I like everything to just pop. So, right. Right. I just wanted to add that. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's all good. We, we chopping We got to keep it rolling. Yeah, yes. So, another thing I wanted to ask you was when I say Rough Riders would come to mind. Uh, when you say Rough Riders, I immediately think about the Travis Shabazz. Because that's who they are. You know what I'm saying? Some solid, solid street people, but you could tell that they genuinely just so blessed as, yeah. as a family. Yeah, you know they are saying? a family unit. They I are a family say. unit. I love those people to this day. You know what I'm saying? I had a, a little situation. I ran into jail out there in New York, and uh, they could have let me sit in there. And yeah. not hire a lawyer and all kind of things, you know what I'm saying? And they didn't even hesitate to assist me. You not, know don't even think twice. Yeah, they, they got a whole staff of people there just for that at the label when I was there, you know. Oh, what that's mean? dope. Yeah, they they dope like that. So shout out to YD, um, Siobhan, Akeisha, uh, Lima, Papa Dean. Uh, Mama Dean. Shout out to everybody. Oh, that's my favorite Dean. Yeah, you know, the yeah. favorite Dean. My favorite Dean. So. Um, just so y'all can see what type of onion and garlic powder I use. Mm -hmm. I don't want to let y'all know. And I added that to the chicken. I season this regularly because I am, that's how I do it. Mm -hmm. And I add my curry less. Mm -hmm. This is very dominant. Mm -hmm. But I want it to kind of be balanced out with a little bit of us and a little. I got to jazz it up. Put your, so, own, put your own touch on it. Absolutely. You can't just do it the original way. So while I am seasoning this, I'm going to mm -hmm. go ahead on and dump my potatoes in and mm -hmm. let them get sauteed in. With that, with my uh, trifecta of onions and peppers. Okay. So, wow. and I'm also, now this is my best friend. Look at this. Better than bouillon. Better it really bouillon. is. Okay. This is like my little broth. It, it just, I don't use water in any dish. Okay. It's a broth for everything. If I'm going to use water, it's going to be cut with this at all times. So you concerned about the flavor and not cutting the flavor. Yes, I right. do not cut the flavor right. at all. Because everything, it makes its own gravy. I said exactly. once before, um, I'm not... Back in the days when I was young, I was a meat special person. I'd go to the little market in the neighborhood and give me a little meat special. It was cheaper coming up like how I came up. Right. To, and you get more for your money. Right. But when I learned that you don't want your food frozen, if you're going to freeze it, you want to freeze it yourself or you put your own date on there and right, stuff right, like that is very right. important. Because if you go to a meat market and it's sitting there frozen, that shit could have been there. Months. Exactly. Yeah. So we don't want that. We, you want to keep it fresh. And what way we know it fresh to just buy it fresh and right. just do it ourselves. True, true. So, yeah, that's heavy on that. So in New York, New York and New Orleans is the same type of vibe for me. So I feel like that was kind of like it could have been a second home for you anyway. Um, New York was definitely New York definitely embraced me. Um, it wasn't a big. Um, it wasn't a big separation of like 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 up and north or, or right and left type of things. Yeah. But it definitely has its own something because uh, me processing New York is uh, people in the subway with headphones on listening to hip hop. So a lot of bass don't mean nothing. Yeah. So it's boom back at, at the time. And in New Orleans, it's yeah, that beat. We in the car, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that was me processing hip hop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That was that version of it. Um, but New York is dope. It's just that it's a millions and millions of people. You know yeah. what I mean? So you got all these great ethnicities all put the, just you got this living world of gumbo. And they are not friendly. They, they, well, they're <laughs> not friendly because evidently, you know, it's not a, it's, it's a dog eat dog world. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, you got some people that's going to be walking and chilling and, and enjoying life. Yeah, and some people are going to be on guard and got a little knife in their pocket ready to cut you up. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, you know, um, but I made the most of it. Man, I was out there living with me and my dad, Musa, KLC from Beast by the Pound, his brother Cooler. Um, I had a different type of life. You heard me like, you know what I'm yeah, saying? I'm chicken I, Yeah, oh, for sure. Yeah. I, can't, I can't really, um, everybody's not the same out there, but I can't tell you New York, but definitely the ish. When it comes to style, I think uh, New Orleans embraces Harlem 
New yeah. York more than anything. Like just that's kind of a mirror effect, uh, mirror situation. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I think that's kind of why I referenced it to that because the 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 Thames and all that like, that's yeah. so New Orleans yeah, to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. you know, that's that's just been our vibe. Um, Harlem and New Orleans is 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 definitely like you know like real distant cousins. So what you was eating out there? Man, I, I, I wasn't at nobody's house. <laughs> I can tell you that. You know what I mean? Um, I was an in studio calling Uber delivery Eats kind of guy. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, burger fries every day type of thing. Oh, or no, chicken that's tenders. not living. Yeah, it wasn't, but I wasn't at that point of. I was in so I was in complete grind mode to when I didn't I couldn't even process. Oh man, I need me a home cooked meal. Yeah, I ain't even hungry for that right now. Yeah, I'm I couldn't hungry. Even, I'm, I, couldn't I need even, something else. I couldn't even see I had tunnel vision. But yeah. when I did get a meal, I guess close to being like home, I went to a spot called um, it was in Harlem, I gotta think about it, but that was the first place I was able to get like some candy yams, some fried chicken. I don't even oh, know yeah. still over, I hope you yeah. think about that because I want to yeah. know because I'm going to visit out there and I need some good home cooked something. They got a bigger variety of spots now, especially Southern influence stuff. Um, I haven't. The, my latest trips out there, I still haven't went to a restaurant catering to my palate. You know what I'm saying? Not to yeah. say that they don't have some of the best food in the world, whether it's Italian, Greek, yeah. Chinese, Indian, whatever, right? You just haven't given it a chance. Yeah, just I, just, yet. I definitely haven't. Uh -huh. Yeah, for sure. That's okay. So when you go, I want you to try some stuff. And when you do, think about me. I'm going to have So to. I can uh, go out there and try it. Out of all the places that you've traveled thus far, what's, you can say, the closest place they bring you back, make you feel like home? Food-wise? Food-wise. Um... um Food-wise, wow. Uh, nowhere. 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 I'm, I, I just was waiting on you to get to it. Yeah, nowhere. But I can't tell you <laughs> as far as the environment. The closest place I went to, I walking around and I was like, damn, this kind of feel like home. I was there um, with Savannah, Georgia. Okay. As far as the environment. They got peat moss on the trees and corn yeah. stores like that type. Yeah, so... Yeah, um, weird though. They got dolphins in the lake and stuff. That's the oh, trippy yeah. too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Closest we get to dolphins is the Gulf. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, like boat riding to a festival, right? Yeah. And here you got a dolphin ride next to you. You're like, man, what the heck? Like, that's, that's crazy. Yeah, right, 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 that's right, crazy. Right. Yeah, that's dope. An experience, though. Literally. But I, that's the closest place I've been in the United States. I, I, I honestly believe I've been every I've been in every state other than Hawaii, and uh, I haven't been to Hawaii yet. Been overseas a gang of times. I haven't been to Hawaii. Yeah. So you know, I, I definitely couldn't take, yeah. put under your belt. Yeah. Because I I have a great Hawaiian dish that I do. And um, I just like, it make me want to try more of that food. For sure. You for know, sure, it makes you sure. want to try that food. But um, what else did I want to ask you about New York? Because like... Um, it wasn't easy. I me? know. I stayed up. While I lived in a hotel for two and a half years. Right? Oh, you know, that okay. was a whole another type of experience. Right? Because I was in a, a room that was about... Six it, by nine. Yeah, I know. You know what I'm saying? Was it like one shower in the building? No, nah, not this. No, this spot was, I don't even know if it's still open, but uh, this spot I lived in called Maritania. And I was around the corner from the late show, the late David Letterman. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? That was a whole other experience. The doorman, I knew all the doormen. Yeah. You feel me? And we just had a good time. You know what I mean? Me and yeah. the locks was real, real close. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I used to, I could walk to the Rough Riders office, I could walk to Sony Music, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, uh, that was a whole experience for me, man. Like, I wish I would have filmed this type of and stuff. And documented, yeah. Because so much happened, like, like, in the world that was outside of music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I was there. Like, yeah. I went to jail, uh, 9, 14, 9, 15, 4 days, 3, Five days, four or five days out. Nine eleven. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that was a whole trippy experience alone. That Just to was, be out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was um, that was a bit much, and um, yeah. But man, shout out the Rough Rider, man. Like, 
I can't stress it enough, man. They didn't give up on me. Um, they allowed me to feed myself doing independent things, yeah. even though knowing I was contractually obligated to them. To, because yeah. they just, it was kicks because they was like, you're a Southern artist and <laughs> you got to pretty much in our own thing. We don't really get it just yet, you hear I me? Mean? Yeah. And I, when I got in the studio, um, I was, man, I was all, all the vibes I experienced emotionally, you know what I'm saying? If it was rough, it was rough off of with my heart on my sleeve. If it was chill, it was with my heart on my sleeve. And it was just, man, watching them look at me in yeah. the booth was trippy. You know, Swiss coming to visiting sessions. Cause you different from everybody. Oh, fam. And don't <laughs> suppress your difference. Yeah. That was the thing. Cause you can conform so easy. And, um, you know, like there's a recipe that may come with this dish. Yeah. But I guarantee you, you've made it jazzy version. I have, absolutely. Okay, so. But, Gotta make it authentic. That's what I'm saying. So that's what it was. Hip hop, in their eyes, was something they created. Right? Mm. But we created jazz. Yeah. Jazz created hip hop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that was a, like them trying to, you know what I mean? Co mingle them. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, so that was an experience of itself. But we made it work, you know what I mean? Love those people. Not like got love for them, I love these people. Yeah. They embraced me, they taught me, my hustle intensified. You know what I'm saying? I came back home, whatever I learned, I brought it back to them. That's movie. when it hit different yeah. because that's what you're supposed to do. A lot of people realize don't realize it's not about, like with me, somebody can cook. In the cooking game, mm -hmm. it's so many different people cooking mm -hmm. and I embrace that, especially mm -hmm. in my city. It's a lot of different cooks. But I realized that Jazzy can't feed the whole city. I right. can know even McDonald's. They have different McDonald's all over the city because mm -hmm. why one McDonald's cannot feed the entire city. Right. So we have to share and and spread and teach and you know what I'm saying? Right, right. right. That's very important. But um, I want to take you to Texas. Mm. I want to take you to Texas. Okay. Um, rap a lot. Rap a lot. Wow. Rap a lot is the mecca of Southern confidence of rap music given to us from Jay Prince and the Ghetto Boys. Because I'm reading his book right now and um, I feel like Jay Prince is kind of like me in a male form. Mm. I, I feel like I, just because of me taking from leaving the streets and leaving that life and dealing with those type of people and putting it all into my hustle. It's, it's just a lot about Jay Prince I could relate to. Right, right, like, right. you know what I'm saying? Even 50 Cent, I, I could relate to him a lot, but Jay Prince, I just feel like he just boss by nature. Some people just born. Um, some people is, uh, is, is heritage. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a little different. Yeah. Not to negate or take anything away from anyone, you know what I'm That's saying? That's right. But the thing is, is to process where you are with your hustle. That's right. Right. One, you are in America. Learn the laws. You know That's what I'm right. saying? You could, you could, from simple as I can't ship food to another state if you're in Texas. You know what I'm saying? You're, there's certain guidelines. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. it's just a small example. You know yeah. What I'm so I tell people more now that learn the laws. Like that's what the most important thing. Learn the laws. Learn the business. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't that's free the key ball. Word. Yeah, yeah. That's the key yeah. word. Because if you're gonna treat it like a business, you can reciprocate what comes from doing business. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't, you gotta do it that way. You know, there's no difference between a blue collar, white collar, and street. Absolutely. All business. It's all business. It's you know business. It's, it's business. Just that someone presented it differently. You know what I'm saying? Because it's always been that saying, it ain't what you do, it's how you do it. My mom always told me. So that just yeah. come with it. So we talked about the closest place that you felt like made you feel like home food wise. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you were to be, I'm just giving you a scenario, mm -hmm. you smoking, hanging out, chilling with the fellas, mm -hmm. or, um, game day, you're not touring or anything like that, and you got the munchies. What you what you gonna do? What you gonna cook? <laughs> uh, what I'm gonna cook? It, 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 man, it can go from stuffed bell peppers to my dirty dirty rice, fiend wings. You know what I'm saying? It's a it's a variety of things that don't allow people to have to wait wait. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, but those are my I think some of my go tos. I make a good Salisbury steak and gravy. Oh you know what yes, I'm saying? Lord. Stuff like that. You know what I'm 
Believe it or not, I don't eat seafood. Really? But I cook everything. I and I cook everything. Don't taste it. You That's me. me. Yeah. I promise you. Right. I don't so when it. did you get into cooking? Uh, I, my mom told me. Um, I, to, I don't know, man. Could have been trying to date some fine ass girl and. I'm trying some I shit. My mom up, like, <laughs> how you made that? Um, how you made the the uh, stuff belt? How you you know? And just wanting to kind of give y'all a little space and chill. You know what I mean? Yeah. And um, I think I knew I got cooking from my mom. My aunt Dora, bless her soul, she cooked for everybody on in Holly Grove. And my dad also was a seafood brawler guy. He on a bar room. Okay. But every Tuesday and Friday, he brought seafood. He got invited to Jazz Fest all the time. He was cold with it. You know yeah. I mean? Um, but that was his other little passion. I used to go crabbing with my daddy, crawfishing with my daddy. So it ain't it ain't uh on you, it's in you. Man, like look, <laughs> never had to eat it. I used to just see my dad man, my boy was cold, man. That boy see like all this right here? Man, he had all his celery, everything lined up. Lined and he's up. making this big batch of crawfish and crabs, right? Man, this dude would be like, Rick, um, Come on, we, we you can come on with daddy. I'm gonna go catch it instead of going across to the West Bank and go and buy the seafood. That's how they right? go. So me and him get out there with the crab baskets, putting raw chicken in yeah. the crab baskets. I'm out there with my boots on. You hear me, like man, like I, I didn't Teach even really process. Teach a man how to fish, and he will oh, not go hungry. Bro. I appreciate your daddy for that because I. I'm trying to garden and everything. Like, I, if I could, the Lord say the same. You I want it. my own cattle. I want whatever I want. I want it to be in house, and that's gonna, that's my dream it. to have my own butcher shop right, and right, stuff right. like that. See, that's a bigger picture, and guess what? It comes with a person in your skin processing. There's, there's always one thing we never did was make a five year plan. Mm-hmm. Two and a half year plan. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. We so focused on trying to get to tomorrow, the trying weekend. Trying to make it through the right? day. <laughs> so we didn't even give ourselves the opportunity. I want to uh, point out a, a buddy of mine by the name of Mike Karen. He was uh, he was a uh, and R for Atlantic Records. He ended up being a senior VP at Atlantic Records uh, of and R's. Then he ended up starting his own writing publishing company and me and Bruno Mars the first writers that he signed. Wow. I was the first dude he signed his publishing company, then he signed Bruno. Went out to dinner, we celebrated. They pull it out, you know I'm talking about. Bless your heart, you <laughs> heard me? And he, uh, he sat down, we sat down in Atlanta one day and he opened his phone and he was, <laughs> he like, Jones, uh, what are you doing uh, three months from now? I want to set up a session with you, Pharrell. You know, we thinking like this, you're going to go to Virginia, you know, you're going to go work with him, do some writing, right? Mm-hmm. And I was like, I'm about it, dog. I ain't, you know, he like, nah, man, th- think about it. Let me know because I really want to make this happen, right? He was like, uh, I said, what you doing? He said, I have a five-year plan, right? Whole itinerary for right? the next got, five for, years. For, for the next five wow. years. There's an itinerary, right? And it just blew my mind, bro. Like, this is so dope, right? And being in the skin that I'm in, I tell people all the time, you didn't ask to even be in the skin you're in, bro. Folks, let me just not. let me just point that out. You ain't even asked to be in the skin you're in, fam. So how you live your life and the vibrations you put out there, it comes back. I know Tempo. where we come from, right? Yeah. But where are you now, right? It's gonna determine where you wanna go. Definitely. And guess what? Erica Badu said, uh uh Next time time. Bag lady. Oh, that baggage. You can't go all oh, these bags, yes. baby. That's you right. Can't, you can't. Where are you gonna go all these bags? That's baby? right. Yeah. So I, I, we have to let go. Yes. To embrace the new version of us. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Because yes. it's so much doper. I get what we where we was at. I yes. get that. I get that. You hear me? I get what you see in your sleep sometimes. I get sometimes when you can't sleep, right? Yes. But you have to embrace your tomorrow. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And you're not around Momo, TD, and all these people not to process and, and absorb all this greatness for them not to do nothing with it. You got it. It's, it's up to you. Yeah. yeah. It's, they gave to, you. Because you giving the game free. It's, it's up to you to implement it into your everyday life. Facts. I told my so, kids, I said, there's no school for what daddy became to be. I, I'm not saying school isn't for you and I'm not saying school wasn't for me. I went to college for a couple of semesters. Yeah. I'm saying that there's no school for what I was born to be. Thanks. So I had to hone into 
my focus. Yes. And and once I did, it allowed me to do all those things. Like I tour at colleges. I don't post none of this. I tour. I get paid to go to colleges, talk to colleges, and I always talk about three and three things in my lesson. All right, three things that are universal languages: mm -hmm. food, love, and music. These are things Thanks. that unite people all across the That's world. That's right. If we don't speak the same language, there's something that we can speak the same language. That's right. Yeah. So um, I'm not surprised. I'm here. I'm not surprised. We're here. On something so universal. Yes, as food. Right, and this is just one page out your book of sharing with me today, too. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying on this particular meal. And believe me, I'm soaking up the game. So I'm teaching. I'm serving you something you've never had before, and you giving me some jewels, you know, for life. The you bank know, ain't gonna give, the bank ain't the school ain't gonna give you. Listen, this, you know what I'm they was teaching us about slavery and Christopher Columbus, and my parents was at home teaching us about how to have our credit together right, right. and to stay out the streets. This right. what you don't want to right. do, ain't nothing but jail right. or hell. Right. And because right. I come from a real religious family, right. so it was the church. Yeah, Catholic. stay out these streets. Myself, Catholic. That's, yeah, um, so yeah, I'm go ahead on the and strain same, this. The same way, you feel me? Um, went to, I went to all, I was around all environments. Uh, yeah, my, my buddy Damien was Baptist, my brother Musa, Muslim, um, my people over here, Jehovah Witness, you know, my family raised Catholic, you know what I'm saying? But as I got older in life, I learned that in order to understand religion, you have to learn about all of them. Yeah. You can't just say, because we all were raised like, in, well me anyway, I was raised in a Baptist household, mm -hmm. but it was a lot of things. And I would never question the God, but it was a lot of things that I questioned that was in the Bible. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But the, when, as I got older, I understood what the Bible was. We can make a Bible today together. You can write your story and what's of going course. on in your life of right course. now. Of I can course. write what's going on in mine. Right. His, his, hers, right. hers. Right. So it was just, the Bible is just basically a book of things that happen in those people's lives as a warning to me. Like to warn you, okay, this can happen. You know what I'm saying? But I had to interpret it for my own understanding, mm -hmm. you know, because just coming up and it's being force fed to me and me not fully understanding. And I'm just like these things. I had to grow and see that miracles can really happen because just listening at being told this, mm -hmm. it was just hard for me to believe. I was just like, well, this is until the Lord had to step in and save my life. And he had to come in and, you know, stop right, this right, from happening right, and stuff right. like that. So I had to really get to know him. For myself to really even understand religion too, right. but that's just with anything in life, you can't go off what people tell you. Do your own personal research so you can have your own way facts, of understanding. Facts, so, facts, and facts. I just want to stress that to any and everybody. But I just want you to see how beautiful this yellow rice is. Okay, yeah, now I'm talking about. Like it came out of Mahatma bag. You understand here. me? Mahatma came to see me. You here. know? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's gonna have its own personal flavor right. and it's just gonna pop off. And my chicken is real tender. We just letting our uh, potatoes get a little more tender and we're gonna be ready to roll. I'm gonna save me some of this here. Steam on there. But we're gonna be ready to roll real soon. This is a very quick and easy dish mm -hmm. to um, put together. Um, really, I've been standing up here stirring it, but if I was at home and just doing this on a regular day, I just let this simmer sure. on a medium sure. you know and just be doing something else but i'm the type of cook that i need everything to be rolling at the same time yeah you, you don't want everyone yeah i'm not trying ready. to be waiting on no doggone rice right, right. and uh when everything else is together you know right. what i'm saying right. and um look at me another little part so another thing you came in the game your first album was entitled i won't be denied yeah i won't be denied right so wow. Being that we were speaking on religion, I just want to say how you manifested that into your life. Man. You feel me? Mm. Just think about Man. it. You know what I'm saying? Because you would not stand for being denied. Man. Because a lot of people in your career, they either not, still not in there. They oh, you could put hiatus, through a different Or they so passed they away true. or they have a right. drug addiction. Right. Se several different things they right. may be battling with right. in their lives. Right. But look where you are. Man, I'm just happy to be here. Relationship with your kids. Oh, you man. active in your career. Man. Your skin glowing. Man. You hey, know what I'm saying? Man, so hey, it's still, like hey, God, you glory, spoke yeah. that you wouldn't be denied nah. from the beginning. Nah, man. So that's crazy. And, and the most, the secret to me, the, the secret ingredient to my 
um, my todayness mm -hmm. is having um, women praying for me. Save me my whole life. You know what <laughs> I'm saying? Like, because I, I feel that I may not have known a lot of days, but women praying for me. Power of prayer. Right. You know what I'm saying? It mm -hmm. was a mother, an aunt, a girlfriend. That's you know, right. Like, that was like, he don't know, no, but let me go ahead and. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I think that was a secret ingredient for me because praying for yourself is one thing. Oh, but when you got them uh, prayer warriors. Prayer warriors. On deck. Yeah, yeah. That's, that hits so much more yeah, different. And I just sure. want to stress that to a lot of people. That's really what saved my life because I used to be something. I always had a passion for cooking, but I grew up in a religious household. So I yearned to see what it was like. Right. Because I had friends that were really in poverty, so I just couldn't understand that my mama was this type of way, right. and they mama was that type of way. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to see what that was like, but it quickly came back to me honoring God and thanking Him for being here, and I'm a living testimony. I didn't lost siblings to murder, wow. you know, friends to drugs. Right. So, you know, I just got a relationship with my father and my mother right. because I was, like I said, I was a rebellious child, and right. I was seeing things in my own right rebellious site and right. not really right. the way it was really supposed to be and being a mother you kind of you know That'd i hate it. to say my mama told me so right that was <laughs> the um that was the i tell people this is just me how i look at it when you become a parent um especially early that is a small blessing in disguise to give you a little someone that looks like you to to make you know what unconditional love really That's feels right. like because we don't get the opportunity we don't we're not taught self-love at home a whole lot and self-love is really the tip of the iceberg. You need to learn to be to be in love with yourself. Absolutely. Because that's the only way you attract love. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you that teaches people how to treat you and without you having to beat on your chest in the middle of the street. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? That's the time. I told you life. I had to learn that the hard yeah. way because I was the person that wore my feelings on my sleeve. And a lot of times I was not really considering other people's feelings. I didn't analyze the situation properly. How could you? You know? Being a baby, how could you? Exactly, and then I was a baby with a baby. I got pregnant at 15 years old. Developing, how could so, you? So, you know. How could you? You know what I'm saying? So, but you? it changed my life for the better. Right. I was so happy, like, where I am today and who mm -hmm. I am now. Like, I am a walking, living testimony. Sure. I wouldn't trade nothing. Man, it smells so good up here. Nah, you, why would you trade it? Like, and if you knew that it was going to be that hard, it could have deterred your schedule. But when you're in the thick of it, you, know, you feel me? You, you find out who you are. You know what I'm saying? That's true. Yeah, that's why I survive. I always tell people, you know what, at the end of the day, where my survivors at. You know, I put out a single on a new project called Thank God is Fame. And uh, the first single was Survivor's Anthem. Pain don't last forever, only winners do. You know what I'm saying? Like Church. Yeah, man. <laughs> man you, you gotta keep going. You know, I've we all seen adversity. You gotta continue to see adversity. You know what I'm saying? But how prepared you are for it, you know what I'm saying? I, I got Beyond wealthy information from the Birdman's, the Masterpiece, mm -hmm. the Boz. And I kind of paid attention to that because handing over millions of dollars probably wouldn't have been... Um, effective at all. Maybe not as effective. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But to hear Boz tell me, a uh, fiend, uh, a good soldier prepares for war during a time of peace. You know what I'm saying? Like that, In my book. Yeah, that type of <laughs> stuff. I want to tell you about the 40 Laws of Power, not to let it... Um, take over your life because we're spiritual people and that book is 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 a is mental warfare mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and it's good to acknowledge it and to see it in front of you to know how to kind of like to defend yourself yeah and to when apply so it's like the demonic side because that's what i a lot of stuff i'm not gonna lie a lot of stuff i was like yeah it's this this book real cutthroat but right. to go back to what the original reason of cutthroat was for me from Soldier Sim, he wasn't cutthroat in his partners. He was, it's, we're a cutthroat child for us. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's pressure. It's, it's by any means necessary behind yeah. the team. Um, moved out here during the limit of 97. Uh, me and Mac lived in, um, uh, what that was, the uh, residence in. Okay. Next to Blue Vine. Corporate. No, oh, that's, that's Blue Bunny. Oh, is it corporate? It, it was corporate. That was the okay. first residence center. It was next to the actual. Welcome back, Meg. Yeah, yeah, welcome <laughs> back. Like, man, welcome back. Welcome back. I texted you the other day just out of nowhere. I was riding back from Atlanta. 
And I was just like, dog, um, I just want to see him happy at home, bro. You yes, Lord. Saying? Like, yeah, man. Um, and um, it's trippy to know. <laughs> it's trippy, you know what I mean? Like, I love New Orleans came out here, be, like, almost for a job. Yeah. You know what I mean? What was your go-to while here? When you was coming out here, like, to eat-wise, anyway? Uh, <laughs> I got uh, you with that one. Fast food, Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Happy Perez put me on Razor Kings when it had no name on the box. You know what I'm saying? I'm so just, mad you said it. I'm I, just keeping it for me. Yeah. Okay, and I cook <laughs> for me and Mac. I cook for me and Mac in the residence because we shared a room. Yeah, you know, kitchen there. Downstairs. Yeah, and Mary, yeah, I do yeah. their thing. So yeah. I, I, I cooked for us a lot. Um, and every once in a while, Mia would bless us with a meal at the studio. Glad you said that. I'm so glad you said that. Yeah. So, no limit wise, who is the best cook outside of the biggest mama? Because I know she laying it down. Um, I'm a. I'm a. Don't feed wings. I'm gonna have to take that. <laughs> Don't feed wings. I'm gonna have to take that. Because guess what? I'm gonna have to take that. We did a session in Atlanta, and I'll never forget. We did a session in Atlanta. We booked the studio for five days. At Zach's, it's called Zach's. It's next door to Stank on you, right? Mm -hmm. Me, Monster Beats, KLC, Moby Dig, Beats by the Pound, of course, uh, and Don Juan. While they had a room in Studio A, we was in Studio B and we had Studio C. We just was multitasking, right? Every day that I cook, right? Yeah, I, I, I smell Every a no limit cook off coming, y'all. I would never <laughs> compete against Mia. I, I only would want to uh, assist. By tasting the food. Okay. You hear me? But she said this is the first episode we're doing, she's gonna do her rice and I'm gonna do some fiend wings. You know what I'm saying? The wings is just, it's just, it's like I said, take passion. I can smoke them for you, I can bake them for you. Either way they go, they're falling off the bone and they're gonna have that paint on it. That I paint, think we need to set some up. I need to come give me some fiend wings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do the uh, same thing. I do the same thing. I get a spot down where we at and let you, you know, in the crew, come see for yourself. It's, it's you gotta experience it, bro. Cause yeah, it's I, definitely. Yeah, it's like it's like it's like my wings in the body. I promise, I'm gonna hold you. I'm gonna hold you to it. I ain't gonna with two lie. Hands. With two Believe hands. Believe that. With two hands. With Believe that. Yeah, it's all good. Yes, Lord, I can't wait to try it. I um, I figured you would be the best. I ain't not just. You can see, I don't miss no meals, man. You know, I don't miss no meals. But I will say this: you have toned and shaped yourself. You look. Wait. I fluctuate. Thank you so much. You look much. great this because. Like, hold on, let me let this whoop. process in my head for a little. Yes, Lord. You know, because okay. when I go back and I just you you know you one of my top ten, and like I said, they my top ten, so I can say a little something. People can't be conflicted and have issues with your top ten, That's your fact. top twenty, your top fifty. Most people get that kind of like a little messed up. P in shape too. I, yeah, yeah, I, I yeah. love to see it. Yeah. I'm like, I'm I like, man, them guys, y'all aging. 30, 35, well, 30, look good. 35. Yeah, man, look, I don't do the crack, don't do the heroin. I don't. You hear me? Like, I feel yeah. like you look younger. If I when I look at old fiend and new fiend, I'm talking about with the dreads yeah, and the hair. Yeah, yeah. You look actually, you look younger I to try me to stay now, away but from a lot of things. That's because you didn't cleanse water, and yeah, detox is them bad vibes. Hey, and mentality. That That's number one. You know what I'm saying? That's number one. The mentality. That's You're number one. The mentality. Age, oh age comes from genetics, right? Mm hmm And age comes from mentality. Definitely. Right? Definitely. And you are what you smoke. You are what you eat. You are what you hang around. You that's know? right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people are younger than me. And um, the age, age and yeah, bad. they yeah. are, but they they also are living a rougher life. So it's it's yeah. all about how you oh, carry yourself. And if you running and running and running and running and running and never giving yourself the time and opportunity to rejuvenate and reprocess, nah. nah. you gonna be looking like right Uncle Festa. You know what I mean? Think about this here. How many <laughs> people getting up, smoking five backwoods, five blunts? You know what I'm saying? You know, before even I used to not even that was me. Phone but now nah, I'm so. mango, right. sea moss. Right. <laughs> you know. Elderberry. Yes, I got it. Mine's already mixed in, so right. we may make my son. He might get up and make a smoothie or something. But right. I'm, I've gotten to so much into the routine. I could just eat the gel now. Right, right, right. right. So right. It, it's just a habit. But pressure. Pressure. <laughs>
All right, we back with this pressure. As you can see, I done plated you up. Jazzy, this looks amazing. All right. This look like a, a dish somewhere at somebody's <laughs> restaurant. You heard me. Speak it on me. You already spoke. You can't be denied into existence. Go and speak that I restaurant tell you into too, me. McDonald's is is a real estate company. McDonald's ain't a food company because it's not a healthy food company. Absolutely. Let me just be. I want to be clear with you about that. So, what differentiates you and them? There's care in your recipe. There's That's care right. in what you're doing. So, you know, they're real no estate. No compares. Yeah, they're a real Kitty. estate business. McDonald's <laughs> is about real estate. They want to be on every corner of America. That's and every right. Every exit of. The highway they're a real estate company that's what makes mcdonald's popular they're, right they own real estate that's why they're everywhere because it's real estate it's that's not right. about our the love and the, putting this in nah, nah, yeah nah, nah, nah. so so one restaurant or one eatery of yours could be its own one of something to do something that's right it's no comparison how you gonna compare you to you can't nah. compare greatness nah. everybody have their own level Ooh, of greatness and i'm gonna give you another one comparison is the thief of joy oh don't compare you. Don't compare. It's the thief of joy. Why are you going? That's fake. You know what I'm saying? But one you in out here. One you. And you out here wasting your time comparing. To somebody else. Right. It's being a poet in the house, right. baby. Fresh, fresh. 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 Fres